Uh, unions and experts are pleased with Edcon's recapitalization plan as the retail giant averts a massive jobs massacre. Uh, while the owners of Edgar's c and &E and Jet may have saved a swathe of mall space from being empty, experts still warn that the retail industry as a whole may find itself in trouble again soon. Aviwam Tilla has the details. Employees here breathe a sigh of relief following news that their jobs may no longer be on the line. The Unemployment Insurance Fund, debt holders and landlords have all come to the rescue of the troubled Edcon Group, which owns Edgar's Jet and CNA. In a press statement released on Friday, Edcon announced new cash commitments and rent reductions of about 2.7 billion rand into the group. This means the removal of all Edkin's interest-bearing debt and the introduction of a new group structure and a set of shareholders. It would save jobs as opposed to not having the deal. Will it stop jobs being lost? Not true. So there will be jobs lost. I mean, they're talking about cutting, um, you know, seriously the number of stores by about a third or so over the next couple of years. And they do say that a lot of the stores are understaffed at the moment, so they can move more staff to, you know, to, to basically uh, staff up the stores that are going to be remaining. The South African Federation of Trade Unions believes Edkin's restructuring is part of how businesses are run. Normally business goes through a number of restructuring. Uh, restructuring should not necessarily lead to job losses. We believe that this should not also be the same. We understand and we appreciate the fact that there is a commitment made by Edkin management that uh, they will be placing workers at various stores. Experts warn that Edkin's woes may soon trickle down to the rest of the retail industry as online shopping gains traction. For the time being, employees in these stores are counting on the support of shoppers in order to pay their salaries. Avi Wemtila, Johannesburg.